Hello people, this is Barry from Barry Collector. Today we're going to take a look at four sword and shield set that we have been following for over a month on the channel. What we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the number of boxes available both on car market as you can see here and on TCG player. So both in the European and the American market as we like to do here on the channel. And we're going to compare them to the numbers we had in the past. So it's not the first time I do this kind of video. I did gather data, which is available on my older video. And today we're just going to compare and see what's happening, what could be happening, and just try to take a look at how the market is moving. So again, those four sets that we're going to be focusing on today are Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, Billion Stars, and Australians. Now, especially the first three that I mentioned are the ones that we've seen the more capital appreciation over the past months. As I said, enough talking, let's just get straight to the video. Here on car market, we're taking a look at Chilling Rain. So we're gonna do this in chronological order, starting with the oldest one. And uh, Chilling Rain actually came out in June of 2021. So it is nearly three years old. Now here on car market, one thing that I wanted so here on car market, as you can see, the lowest listed is 150 euros. However, it is a bit damaged, not really a minty box. And then we have one at 158. Now, if you're not familiar with car market, these prices are without shipping. If you want shipping, you need to log in and it's going to be different for every European country you live in. It's not like TCG player. You're going to depend on where you're from. You're going to get different shipping prices. So this could be 20 for me. It could be 10 for someone else. So again, these are raw prices without shipping. And as you can see, we do see a lot of listings around 170 euros. And we do see a lot of one box listing. Now, one thing I wanted to grab your attention to is this seller right here from Belgium, who is dumping 40 boxes at 180 euros, which is something new that we did not see last month. Now let's take a quick look at TCG player before we take a look at the numbers of boxes available. Now here TCG player, it is selling for $174, I would assume shipped. And uh, the lowest listed here, it is at $174. Now, as you can see here, clearly one year chart, this is up by roughly 30, $35 which is actually uh, just a bit above 20%. 20% a year, it's not that bad. If that is net profit, then it is quite an interesting move. Now let's take a look at the numbers. And uh, here, if we take a look at the past, we can see how Chilling Rain on November 25th, we had 95 boxes on DG player, 94 on car market, and that was the number of cases available. Now, again, as I said in, Every video of this kind, I am aware these are not all the boxes that are out there in the market, which is why these numbers change. They increase or decrease every month, every day. So I'm aware of that all I can say, all I can do is take a look at what we see on these websites, on these markets, and I just keep track of them. Now, January 28th, so it's been two months, and we can see that we have 65 boxes on TCG Player, whereas we had 95 two months ago, so 30 less. And then on car market, we did see an increase of just below 50 boxes, 48. And the number of cases also increased on car market. Now, again, as I mentioned, and one thing that I did want you guys to notice is this seller right here that was in such a large position and most of the boxes that we're seeing come from him. Now, one thing I also want you to notice is how there are a lot of people selling. And usually you would think when supply steps into the market, there's an increase in supply. If there aren't enough buyers, if there's not enough demand, prices should drop. Now that is true. That's usually how it works. Just again, basic supply against demand. However, one thing I want you to think about, Chilling Rain is, as I said, almost three years old. These people, as you can see, if you're, again, if you're not familiar with car market, when you do see here a little emoji of a man, that means, as you can see, it's a professional seller. So if you don't have that, it means that you're a private 
individual as a seller. And that's also why you do see just one or two listings per, per person, per seller. Now, these are people mainly that are selling because they're a collector or investors. Nevertheless, they are trying to bank in some profits. So they're not in a rush to sell as if you were a store with the latest product, with the latest set, you do need liquidity to then spend onto the next set that is gonna come out. So these guys, and again, that's my personal opinion, but I'm pretty confident about what I'm saying, even though as always, I do make mistakes, I can be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. These are guys that are not in a rush to sell. If they were, they would lower the price. So I don't think we're gonna see prices, at least on car market, going lower because these are private individuals that are just not in a rush to sell, they just wanna bank profits. And until they will, I don't think they're gonna lower the price. Again, that's my thought. Happy to see what you guys think. Now, moving on to the next one, Fusion Strike. Pardon me for the interruption. Just wanted to take 10 seconds of your time to just ask you to please check out the channel if you enjoyed what you've seen so far. As well as if you're European, we are planning on doing a live box break, Opal the Evolved, for a ridiculously low price. So if you're interested, please consider reaching out either on Instagram or on Discord because yes, we do have a Discord server for both Europeans and Americans. So if you want to talk more about this, if you want to join a growing community, then I highly recommend you join the Discord. The link is in the description of this video. Back to the video now. Fusion Strike is quite interesting. Why? A little spoiler. It is the set amongst the four that we do have the least number of booster boxes available. As you can see here, lowest listed, 150 euros. However, these sellers have zero feedbacks, which is a bit suspicious. These three sellers here are from the UK. So if you're in the EU, you're gonna have to pay customs as well as shipping might be a bit more expensive than usual. And then here we see listings starting from 160 euros all the way up to 175 to 180. Now, again, if we look at volume, so where is the seller with the most amount of boxes available? Well, there really isn't one. The maximum we see is four, and it is sitting at 204 euros. So if we, I compare this to Chin and Rain, I do see this moving quicker to the upside mainly because of supply. Supply is limited, there's less, and we're gonna take a look at the number in just a second, as well as there's not only a, a seller that has a predominant position within the market. Now, take a look at the American market, TCG player. Now here, this has sold 140. I wonder if it was loose packs or without shipping. As we are seeing here, they are selling between 160 to 150 as well as the lowest listed right now is for $160 shipped. So let's take a look at some numbers. Fusion Strike, November 25th, again, two months ago. TG Player, 108 boxes. Car Market, 139. If we look at today, look at this. TG Player, 66 boxes. Car Market, 67. So basically, on, on the European market, we see number of boxes reduced to half of what they were. And we're pretty close as well on TCG Player. And also the number of cases at least on TCG players, came down to eight from 15, whereas it, it did increase our market. So we do see a significantly less amount of boxes available. And as you're going to see throughout the video, this is a set, again, a little spoiler, that we do have the least supply of. Next one up is, is Brilliant Stars. So here on Brilliant, the lowest listed is 165 euros, Again, the seller says it, being honest, ugly plastic, so it's not really the mint is of boxes. And they do sell for, as you can see here, 170, 175 euros. We do have some volume here. Seven boxes had 175 euros. And if we scroll down again, we do see there's another seller with 12 boxes, and then there's no other large sellers, such as what we've seen with Gin and Rain. So here, brilliant, take a look at the American market, as you can see, it is selling for around 140, 160 dollars. And here the lowest listed is 148 plus 15 shipping. So it's roughly 165 dollars. So 
160, 165. Similar trend with what we've seen in the European market. Now, for reference, if you're not familiar, boxes tend to go for a bit more in the European market. Sometimes they are the same number, same absolute value. What I mean by that, you might see, as you can see here, a box for around 168 euros. And here you, you do see it for around $165. So absolute value, same 165, 168, just a matter of currencies. And the euro is right now stronger than dollar by almost 10%. So it is, if you apply the exchange rate, a bit more expensive here in the European Union, as well as if you consider that, again, these prices do not include shipping. Why do I say that? Well, first of all, to raise awareness, if you perhaps are new to the channel, if you're American, if you've never looked at the European market or vice versa, if you're European and you've never taken the American market into consideration, but because of what is coming next, which is astral radiance. Now with astral, it is quite interesting because we've seen the opposite. Boxes are cheaper in Europe than they are in the US market. Why? Well, one of the reasons why we are going to see in this video. So here, lowest listed 118 euros in the UK. Now this Greek seller, which has 44 boxes available, does not ship to me while I'm in Italy. So not sure if it does ship to other European countries. It might, it just does not ship to Italy. Nevertheless, we do see boxes run. 120 euros. There's a lot of price range of 125 to 130 euros. As you can see here, a large volume and 135. So it is the cheapest one of the four we've seen today, also being the newest. So again, even if we scroll down, we do see volume here below 140 euros. So it is the cheapest one and it is one that might perhaps move higher, slower than the others. Now, if we take a look, at the American market, we do see how the lowest listed is at $140 shipped, which is actually, we take a look at absolute value. So 140 against 120 and you add shipping here. And for reference, shipping in within Italy cost me 13 euros. So 133 euros would cost me to buy from this seller. In absolute value, it is cheaper. Now, if you do also take into consideration exchange rate, then the one in the US would be cheaper, but just by a few dollars, a few euros. And that is something that we don't regularly see happening. Now, how does that come? Well, if we take a look again at the supply available, it is easy to see that on this year player, the number of boxes we had last month was 95. This month we have 125. However, we did see the number of boxes in the European market decrease over the past two months. However, it is significantly larger. It is more than double the number of boxes available on this G player. And that could explain at least partially the reason why we do see prices being lower in the European market, simply because supply is more than double. Again, may not be the only reason why there could be more factor, more variables to it, but I do believe and just again, pure supply against the man does agree with me that this could be one of the reasons why. All right. So we've seen all these four boxes. We've seen data. What should we think about this data? What should we learn? Well, all I can say and all I will say is chilling rain. I do see a lot of supply being dumped in the market, which is why given the amount of supply, as I said also previously, I do see it at least in the European Union rather than in the US slow down with the value of the box. Will it move higher? Yes. But I think at this price point, it is going to be a slower increase than what we might see on Fusion Strike. Again, because of supply only, I do see Fusion Strike moving higher than Chilling Rain. And also, we didn't care about the cars in the set for this specific video. But if we think about it, Fusion Strike might overtake Chilling. Now, Brilliant Star is a good set. It is following closely. However, we still do have a large number of supply in the market. But if you think about it, given the amount of supply that we have, and again, just for reference, if we take a look at Fusion and at Brilliant Stars, 
on the European market, there's double the amount of boxes, over the double amount of boxes available, whereas there's just over 15 boxes available in the American market. So supply is prominent and brilliant stars, but nevertheless, it is expensive. It is as expensive, if not more expensive, but I mean, just a matter of a few dollars, a few euros than fusion. So what does that tell me? It tells me that supply, that demand is strong. Demand is really strong. So the moment that supply will keep moving lower, we might see this keep moving higher. Astral, well, I do believe, and that's my own opinion, Astral is a bit of a sleeper, mainly because of how cheap the, the alternate arts, and I'm talking specifically about the Pock and the Diologia, because the Machamp is a bit more expensive, but still, those two are just 30, 35 euros, dollars. There's one listed, I don't know if it's sold already, uh, here on car market, a PSA 9 for 35 euros, which if you're European, you know it's a steal. So again, bullish on Astral, but it might take time. It will take time and most likely it will take longer to appreciate than these other three. Now, that is going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed the video, if you like the content, please subscribe. It really helps and it costs you nothing. If you enjoyed the video as well, please consider leaving a like and let me know in the comments what you think about these four sets. If you think about it, I should do the same for other sets. And if you're going to pick up one of these four. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.